It runs nearly 500 kilometers crisscrossing central Guatemala. Along its winding route, it picks up trash, lots of trash, some 20,000 tons of plastic garbage, medical waste, discarded clothing. And most of that garbage ends up in the Caribbean Sea, washing up on the shores of neighboring Honduras' beaches. Considered to be one of the most polluted rivers in the world, the Motagua has been at the center of a diplomatic rift between Guatemala and Honduras and is cited as the cause of major public health and environmental threats in the country. Kevin Cullo is with Four Oceans Cleanup, a for-profit company dedicated to cleaning up the world's waterways. The river flows all the way to the ocean, and along that ocean are over 100 munici other municipalities and other small villages and communities. And there's a lot of illegal dumping happening in that river that we've noticed. Um, and it just transport all the plastic and trash to the ocean. So I think what's happening is the trash, when it funnels out to the ocean, it goes to Guatemala and Honduras. So right now we're uh, looking to expand, specifically on the Rio Matagua, to stop the plastic from even reaching the coastlines of Guatemala and Honduras. Four Oceans says it had come up with an innovative system designed to trap the garbage before it reaches the ocean. So right now we collect about 100,000 pounds of plastic and trash per month. Uh, we're actually closing in on our 2 million uh, pounds pulled since we first started August 24th of 2020. Dubbed the trash forens, it consisted of a series of physical traps set up along the river's path to collect the debris it carried. The trash would be sorted and the plastics used for recycling. But the system's operators determined it was more efficient to pick up the trash the closer it got to the ocean. Four Oceans now has 50 employees based in the port city of Puerto Barrios. There, they clean up the beaches, sort the trash, and recycle it. Four Oceans raises money by manufacturing and selling wrist bracelets made from recycled plastics. In 2022, the company reported more than $30 million in revenue. Gustavo Lemos is their operations manager in Guatemala. Tenemos aquí en Puerto Barrios nuestro centro de operaciones principal. Aparte tenemos dos puntos de operaciones que se dividen en dos. Uno está en San Francisco y otro en Quetzalito. El cual los de el grupo de San Francisco y Quetzalitos recorren toda la playa de Punta Manavique hasta la desembocadura del río Motagua. El cual su función es de recoger recoger toda la basura que ellos se encuentren acumulados en toda la playa. And the operators of a power dam on the Las Vacas River, which feeds into the Motagua, came up with another solution. The dam traps debris carried by the river as its water passes through its logs. Workers pick the trash out of the river by hand, transport it in conveyor belts to a processing plant, where plastic is sorted and recycled into fence posts and park benches. The rest of the trash is taken to a landfill, which is planted with native trees. But more has to be done on a larger scale due to the enormous amount of trash Guatemala's rivers carry. Nuestra tarea diario es recoger basura. Pero es un al esto es al corto plazo. Pero For Ocean se quiere expandir más, el cual estamos ya buscando un terreno más cercano al río Motagua, el cual vamos a hacer unas instalaciones ahí, el cual queremos poner Unos, unos protectores llamados boom, el cual que nosotros queremos retener prácticamente lo más posible la basura que viene del río Motagua para que ya no salga al, a las playas de nuestras costas, que sea un, el impacto mínimo. ¿va? Even though they are collecting more than 100,000 pounds of trash per month, they recognize it as a short-term solution to a long-term problem. I don't think it, collecting trash itself is it's hard. It's, 
it, we need to bring education and awareness along with the problem that's associated with that. So not only is 4Ocean helping to remove that trash and plastic, we're talking with local and national governments, we're talking with schools, we're talking with anyone that is willing to listen about the problem and all come together to stop the problem. It's not going to take one company like 4Ocean, it's not going to take one local government, it's going to take everyone to buy in that single-use plastic specifically is not good for the environment. Plastic itself is not good for the environment, it lasts forever. Not only do the people see the uh, environment get contaminated and polluted, but it affects what, what do we eat when we live in that coastline? We, we eat seafood, right? So the seafood, uh, you know, sees that as food and it's back to your dinner table. So all of us have plastic inside us. And especially in these regions, and it's highly polluted, it's very important that, yes, we're collecting the plastic and trash from the coastlines, but we need to all come together, all private companies, all local and national governments, the schools, and teach and change the culture. That's the hard part. Environmentalists agree. Manuel Avila is completing his doctorate in climate change and sustainability at Guatemala's public university. Mucho de esto empieza desde nuestros hogares. Ni siquiera es en la ciudad, sino en nuestros hogares. Eh, de acuerdo a esto, tenemos un acuerdo gubernativo eh, 164-2021 para la gestión integral del, del residuo sólido eh, desde nuestros hogares. ¿verdad? Esto viene el transporte, recolección y muchos de ellos no pagamos, no pagamos el servicio, no pagamos la extracción, ni disposición, ni la separación, ni el embalaje del mismo. Entonces, mucho de estos llega a los ríos. Decimos, una basurita más no nos va a hacer, no nos va a hacer nada. But the main problem, he says, is in the large amount of industrial waste that flows into the rivers. Hay varios tipos de contaminación. Está la doméstica, está la industrial, que son las que más uh, predominan en nuestro, en nuestro medio. Entre la, la doméstica encontramos uh, eh, cartón, papel, vidrio, aluminio. En, las otra, en, la, en la otra clase de contaminantes tenemos las industriales con metales pesados este, y, es, y, y todos estos eh, unidos no pueden ser tratados en una planta de tratamiento de agua potable. The problem is not limited to one river and it is not limited to the fact that rivers are used to dispose of trash. According to Ocean Cleanup, an NGO that monitors water quality around the world, 11 of the 25 most polluted rivers in Central America are in Guatemala. And throughout the country, 90% of water sources are contaminated. Communities around rivers are starting to take notice and to demand more action from the authorities. This community activist who lives near the Las Vacas River outside of Guatemala City says the situation has become untenable, not only because of the amount of trash thrown into the river, but because of the erosion caused by illegal mining all a result of poor government planning and a lack of environmental regulation. Esta área aquí si se puede dar cuenta 25 años atrás, toda esta este esta área de aquí que estoy ve a, a los lados, este era un bosque. Era un bosque y mire cómo está ahora. ¿Por qué? Porque se ha ido destruyendo. Han habido muchas contaminaciones, los árboles han desaparecido por los derrumbes. Y todo esto ha causado serios daños a la población, enfermedades de respiratorios enfermedades eh, del estómago por la contaminación que se, que se vive a diario prácticamente. Hay personas que, que, que viven a la, a, la orilla de la, a la orilla del río y eso es una contaminación terrible. Niños que se enferman muy, mucho aquí por ese lado. Y esa parte pues es un ambiente que prácticamente las personas, aunque no quieran, se han acostumbrado a vivir a esa manera, a esa forma, porque de plano el, un país que nos ha abandonado prácticamente nos ha condenado a vivir de esta manera. ¿verdad? And some government leaders are starting to take notice. 
las eh, negligencias, las incompetencias, las irresponsabilidades de los funcionarios de Estado las están pagando las comunidades. Acá vienen y se le dan licencias para extracción de arena a empresas que lo único que vienen es a socavar los recursos naturales de las comunidades, a dañar el entorno ambiental de las comunidades y no dejan ninguna productividad para las comunidades. De igual manera hay un río que es alimentado porque es el que sirve de desfogue de los desechos eh, de la ciudad capital, la ciudad capital, la alcaldía de la capital no tiene plantas de tratamiento, la basura que se acumula acá en Chinautla es la basura de eh, la capital que viene arrastrada desde el barranco de la zona 3, desde el sanitario de la zona 3, pasa recogiendo todos eh, los desechos de la capital y la gente acá se tiene que tragar toda esa contaminación. Meanwhile, efforts to clean up continue, and while they are not seen as a sustainable long-term solution, at least they are bringing attention to a problem that has implications not only for Guatemala, but for its neighbors as well.